So this here is called a pluck. A pluck is the heart, lungs, and liver. And in this case, this is from a lamb. So, well, it's quite a large lamb, I probably have to say. So let's go through and have a look at uh, each of the organs. And we're really focusing on structure and function. And we might play a little game along the way. All right, so first of all, let's have a look at this organ here. I want you to see how dark in colour this organ is. And if you were to be able to feel it, you'd feel that it's really quite solid. It's quite dense. Um, when I can't, I can't deform it when I try and squeeze it. This organ, you can see, I've, I've cut some of it before. You might or might not be able to see this, but there's lots of vessels that run through it. This is, of course, the liver. Uh, and the liver is one of its main roles. It's got so many different roles. But one of the roles of the liver is um, it's, it's a big filter. It filters a lot of the toxins out of the body. So that's the liver. So let's play a little game. We're going to play a game of sink or float. So with the liver, I'm going to cut off a little part of the liver and I want you to tell me, do you think it's going to sink or float? Okay, here we go. Here's some liver. The liver tissue here. Let's see if it sinks or floats. And sure enough, the liver very much sinks um, because it's a very dense organ. So that's our liver. Now, let's have a look at the heart. So here's the heart. Now, I've actually cut through the heart before. This is the left ventricle of the heart. And you see how thick that muscle is of the left ventricle. And this is the right ventricle. The right ventricle only pumps blood through to the lungs, so the, uh, the muscle doesn't have to be as strong. But the left ventricle pumps through to the body, and that muscle is very strong. So, if you were to be able to feel the muscle, see how it's a different colour to the liver? It's, it's muscle colour, because that's what it is. It's muscle. The heart, of course, is cardiac muscle, and its job, of course, is to pump blood around the body. Now, you'll see that um, all of this white stuff here, this is actually fat. Now, this is not quite at room temperature. It's probably, I don't know, about 10 degrees or something. So the fat is actually a solid at the moment. So I'm just going to pull a bit of it off. This is, um, this is fat. What do you reckon? Sink or float. Let's give it a try. So this is heart fat. Sink or float. And it floats. There you go. What do you think about the heart muscle? Is it going to sink or float? Let's cut some of the heart muscle off. Some of the muscle of the heart. This is an atria. Inside here you can see the valves of the atrium. And this is all muscle here. It's the heart muscle. Let's have a look. Sink or float. Here we go. And the heart muscle sinks, sinks down to the bottom there. Muscle is quite dense. You know, you might have heard that, um, that muscle weighs more than fat. Well, sure enough, it's certainly more dense. All right, now, let's have a look at the, the next organ. These big paired organs here called the lungs. Just before we do, this here is the trachea. Now, I'm sure how well you can see this, but certainly if, when I put my finger down through here into the trachea, I can feel these rings of cartilage. I wonder if I can dissect this a little bit. Okay, look at that. See these rings of cartilage? Now these rings of cartilage are super important because when we breathe in, or when this lamb breathes in, creates a negative pressure. And if these rings of cartilage weren't here, the, uh, the trachea would close. It would be sucked closed. And that would stop air from getting in. So just like a vacuum cleaner at home, it's got the rings to stop or to brace the tube to stop it from sucking closed. Now, something that I think is tremendously interesting is that on, so it's, the, the cartilage is actually a C ring because there's a part that doesn't have 
the cartilage, this part here. And it turns out this is the part that's right next to the esophagus. And the reason for that is so that the, the person or the sheep or the lamb is able to swallow without uh, the bolus of food going jug, 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 down the cartilage all the way down. Let's have a look at the lungs. So look at these nice shiny organs here. Uh, and if you were to feel them, you'd be able to feel that they were really soft and spongy. Just before I do sink or float, let's see if we can put some air into these lungs. I might see if I can get an assistant to help me. Okay, so I'm gonna put the tube in the trachea. All right, and my assistant is gonna pump away. Okay, so we're trying to get some air into these lungs. And oh, look at this. We're actually starting to get, I think we might have a few little leaks in these lungs. Can you see that air, air sac there expanding? Good workout, isn't it? Okay, I can hear some, some air leaking out here. Through here, look at this, we've got this, this laceration in the lung and the air sneaking out here. There you go. So it's fun to stick uh, uh, a vacuum cleaner that blows out, mm. <laughs> but we, we can't do that at school. Thank you very much, Dr. No problem. Mick. Anytime. All right, so one more thing we have to do. Let's play sink or float with these lungs. Let's grab some lung tissue. Grab a, a lobe of the lung. Yep. And um, let's put this in the water. Is it going to sink or float? Let's have a look. What do you reckon? What's your prediction? And there you go. Sure enough, it very much floats. And that's why do you think it floats? Well, it's because it's full of air. See these? You can probably might be able to see these holes here. These air. Um, airways, these small airways, and of course it floats.